Those of us who can afford to acquire electric cars enjoy the comfort of such high-tech SUVs, but how many people know how electric car batteries are made? Only a limited few, I think. As of 2018, there were 5 million new electric cars entering the auto ecosystem, but over the next 20 years, analysts expect this number to hit between 300 to 500 million cars. How will such a staggering number of cars be powered? The answer is obvious – electric rechargeable batteries. In this video, we will expose the global geopolitics of electric car batteries and how the promise of clean and renewable energy is hanging on the precipice of success and failure at the same time. Electric cars use powertrain batteries that supply energy to all the engine components for the vehicle to function as expected. While the value of powertrain batteries is not in doubt, what is in doubt is the supply chain of these batteries. And most importantly, the raw materials used in producing them. The cost of producing EV powertrain batteries has proven to be environmentally costly, but unfortunately, only very few automakers are taking the problem seriously. The raw material used in making these batteries is lithium and its variants. These variants include cobalt, nickel, manganese and several other materials. Currently, the material dominating the market is the cobalt manganese material which is used by many electric auto companies. Tesla, on the other hand, uses a combination of lithium cobalt manganese. The automaker is also working on a new powertrain that will be cobalt free. However, cobalt still represents the most essential mineral without which EV powertrains will be difficult or impossible to make using current technology. Lithium is made in Argentina, Chile and Bolivia. These three South American nations hold significant deposits of the world's lithium reserves. Cobalt, on the other hand, is mined in Central Africa, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The DRC, as the country is commonly called, is the world's most dominant cobalt source. More than half of global cobalt deposit is found in this African nation. While a country with such a valuable resource should be better for it, the DRC has become a perfect example of man's inhumanity to man. Cobalt mining is fraught with human rights abuses and slave labour. The exploratory activities also degrade the environment significantly. According to estimates, on every given day, as many as 40,000 children are working in the DRC's cobalt artisanal mines with no safety guidelines in place. Let us not throw into the mix the evil of child labour. In Chile, the effects of lithium mining are being felt across the region as the water-intensive process is contaminating the soil. Lithium mining also poses risks to the agrarian culture of local populations. With all the negative events trailing cobalt extraction, one would have expected that automakers will seek out alternative materials for making electric car batteries. Why is cobalt such a big deal? Firstly, this mineral has an infamous moniker. It is called the blood diamond of batteries because individuals and companies have made fortunes from it. This mineral is the most expensive resource for making batteries, so companies like Tesla are looking to eliminate its usage entirely. According to Elon Musk of Tesla, making cars that people can afford is critical to the company's long-term goals. Unverified reports claim that by using cobalt-free batteries, Tesla will be able to make cars that are $10,000 cheaper. But why are other firms not following suit? As of the time of making this video, no plausible explanation has been given by any of the notable car brands. Despite the human right infringement of cobalt mining and the environmental risk such exploratory activities pose, BMW still went ahead to sign a long-term deal with Managem CTT, a Moroccan cobalt mining firm. This firm extracts the mineral from the only pure cobalt mine in the world, which is located in Morocco. BMW plans to use the cobalt from this mine to produce Li-ion batteries for its electric cars. The MOU between both companies was signed in 2019 and the deal is worth $122 million, which represents about 20% of BMW's cobalt needs from now until 2025. The deal is earmarked to deliver about 3.9 kilotons of cobalt to BMW within five years, while Glencore will supply BMW with the remaining 80% worth of cobalt. While BMW and other EV car makers are trying to secure their supply of cobalt, Tesla wants to move in a different direction. During its Battery Day event, 
the company unveiled plans to build batteries in-house instead of purchasing them from battery manufacturers. However, no timeline has been given as to when Tesla will substitute in-house batteries for purchased versions. Every year, as much as 130,000 tonnes is mined globally, mostly as a byproduct of copper and nickel. With two-thirds of the global supply coming from the DRC currently, the volume is expected to rise this year and next because production did not halt. This is because the DRC, like many other African countries, escaped the harmful effects of the coronavirus. Compare that to the Ambatovi mine in Madagascar that was forced to shut down due to the virus. When you take a holistic view of the global supply chain, the long-term future of cobalt as an integral mineral for car batteries is not sustainable. Firstly, there is insufficient supply to meet the growing demand which has continued to increase. The Marin and Baoaza mine containing cobalt that can't be used on car batteries if they are not chemically converted. Another challenge with cobalt is that more than 80% of global processing is done in China. After Glencore, Chinese firms are also large miners of the mineral in DRC. When you consider the geopolitical scheme of things and how China uses its control of the supply chain to protect its imperialist aims across the globe, this portends a dangerous economic trend for other nations. Even though the DRC contains more than half of the global cobalt deposit, the supply chain from the African nation is already saturated, which was why BMW had to look elsewhere for this mineral it so desperately needs. Tesla signed a deal with Glencore recently for a 6,000 tonne supply from DRC, which will then be transported to its Shanghai factory. Despite its plans to move away from cobalt, this deal raises doubt regarding its seriousness to produce cobalt-free batteries. With many more electric cars expected to hit our roads in the coming decade, car batteries will continue to be in demand. Glencore, being a major cobalt supplier, has agreed several deals. It has a deal with SK Innovation to supply the Korean firm about 30,000 tonnes, which can produce batteries for 2 million electric cars. There is also a deal in place to supply cobalt to Umicor, a Belgian firm, and China's GEM battery recycler. Even without the Tesla deal, about 90% of Glencore's supply coming from the DRC for the foreseeable future has already been booked by automakers, recyclers and battery manufacturers. The clamour for a new approach to making batteries has brought a new set of challenges. For instance, the call to end cobalt usage has raised the market price of substitute materials like nickel. People like Mr Musk are advocating for nickel to supplant cobalt and these calls have caused the price of nickel to surge significantly. But that is not the only problem stakeholders will have to deal with. Nickel is mined at more locations globally than cobalt, but the extraction of this mineral leads to environmental degradation and land pollution. In countries like Russia, nickel mining has polluted the land belonging to indigenous populations, and after significant pressure from rights groups, Elon Musk decided not to buy nickel from Norilsk Nickel, the company at the center of the storm. This experience of local populations in Russia is similar to what is obtainable in regions where nickel is mined. As long as cobalt remains an important material for building electric car batteries, the demand will continue to grow. Unfortunately, other materials considered to be close substitutes are no better as they pollute the environment as badly as cobalt mining does. From the outside looking in, the world will not cleanse itself until we find a better way of doing things by improving our technology. Before finishing this video, we would like to know your thoughts about how EV batteries are made. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.